pocket. Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. On tout le monde est prêt. Tout le monde est prêt. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. Before we invite to TCW 948 to the witness stand, I give the floor to Judge Fence first, first to ask any observation or to clarify the request from uh, Victor Gope uh, to Va visit the Grandachan Security Office. You may proceed, Judge Fentz. Yeah, thank you, President. As the President um, has said, this is about the request for a site visit at Grandachan. Um, we note that the request was reasoned in rather general terms, probably because it was spontaneous. We further note that the other parties didn't object. Um, the Chamber has now had a look at the site ID report, which is in the case file, E3-5828. And after we have read the report, we would ask the defense to clarify what additional relevant information could be gained from a site visit, as opposed to just reading the site report. Uh, we obviously will give the defense some time to have a look at the site ID report, and we would expect a clarification either, again, what additional benefit or what additional relevant information could come out of a visit or a withdrawal of the request, whatever it is, after the lunch break and after the defense has had time to have a look at the site ID report. Thank you, Judge Fentz. Court officer, please usher in to TCW 948 together with his duty counsel. Mr. Winnet, what is your name? Bonjour, quel est votre nom? Winnet. Le témoin. Mr. President, your honors, everyone in and around the court. My name is 
not know. I am 74 years old. I am living in Angronier village, Tramcock commune, Tramcock district, Takao province. I am a member of the commune je committee and I am the Aja for the marriage Adja ceremony. President, Le President, could you spell your name? Votre nom? President, please come on, Mr. Winnet. You are instructed to wait so for the microphone activation, otherwise your voice is not heard in the courtroom. The spelling of my name is N-O-U-V. N-O-U-V. President, I have heard uh, you state about your uh, uh, current address and where were you born? Answer. My uh, place of birth was in the same, uh, the same place where I am living now. President, what were your parents' names? My father's name is Nutnok, deceased. Nut -Nok, My mother's est name is Mut Pan, deceased. Ma mère s'appelait Mut Pan, elle est aussi décédée. What about your wife? Le What is her name? How many children do you have together? Et combien d'enfants avez-vous ensemble? My wife's name is Bu Sao. Elle se nomme, répond le témoin, Bu Sao. She is handicapped. Elle est handicapée. She could not move because uh, she had a traffic accident, a car un crashed her. De voiture, une voiture I dedans, have elle uh, ne peut nine plus children. And one enfants. was killed in Pol Pot time. Et décédé à de Pol Pot. President, the greffier made a, an oral report that, to your best knowledge, none of your father, mother, ascendants, children or descendants, brothers, sisters, in-laws or wife is admitted as a civil party in K002. Is that information correct? Answer, that is correct. In the same report, you have already taken an oath before the Iron Club statue to the east of the, the courtroom. Is that correct? Answer. That is correct. I have taken an oath already. President, the Chamber would like to inform you of your rights and obligations as a witness. As a witness, in the proceedings before the Chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comments which may incriminate you. That is your rights against self-incrimination. This means that you may refuse to provide your response or make any comment that could lead you to be prosecuted. As for your obligation as a witness in the proceedings before the chamber, you must respond to any question made by the bench or relevant parties, except where your response or comment to those questions may incriminate you as the chamber has just informed you of your rights as a witness. As a witness, you must tell the truth that you have known, heard, seen, remembered, experienced, or observed directly about an event or occurrence relevant to the questions that the bench or parties pose to you. Do you understand your role, your rights and obligations, Mr. Notno? Answer, yes, I understand. Réponse, oui, j'ai bien compris. 
President, thank you, Mr. Nuno. Have you ever provided provided your statement to a, an investigator of the OCIJ? Where did it take place, and how many times uh, did you give your statement? Answer. I may give my statement seven times. Il est possible que the last one took place at the Damka Commune office. That is from my rec recollection. President, thank you very much. Before you are here in the courtroom, have you read your statements already? That is the statement you provided to the investigators of the OCIJ already. Answer. I have reviewed the document which there is a statement I gave at the commune hall office. I may forget some and I may recall some. Au bureau de la commune. President, to the best of your knowledge and to your recollection, does the statement you gave at the commune hall office reflect your statement you gave at that time? Answer. Yes. Oui. Yes, the, the statement in that document reflects of what I gave uh, to the investigator at the commune hall office. President, thank you, Mr. Nodno. You have the duty council, which uh, the chamber provides uh, to you, and uh, your duty council's name is Mr. Moon Sovan. Did you? already make a consultation or discussion with your duty council already before you are here? Answer, yes, I have a discussion already oui, with my duty council. He explained me already about uh, what is going on here. De quoi il en retournait ici. Mr. President, so based on the Bien. internal rule 90.4, bis. according to rule 91 du bis, uh, the chamber would like to provide the floor first to the co-prosecutor. You may proceed, Mr. Co-prosecutor. Please hold on, Mr. Uh, Co-prosecutor. Mr. Copé, you may proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, apology for uh, interrupting or not letting the prosecution start with their questioning. But did we hear correctly that uh, the witness said that he gave seven statements? Because if that is correct, uh, we're missing five. And if we're missing five statements, I really do not see the point in um, continuing with the examination of this witness. Um, uh, and so um, my, my request is to uh, verify this number, uh, Mr. President, uh, and if he verifies, I think no, I, I, I know we will request to postpone the testimony of this witness. Effectivement, il y a sept PV d'audition. Je demanderai à remettre à plus tard la comparution d'aujourd'hui. No. President, Mr. Notno. Le président, Monsieur Notno. How many times did you give? the statement to the investigator of the OCIJ of the ECCC, where did it take place? And when did you provide it? I refer only the statement that you gave to the investigator of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges of the Extraordinary Chambers in the Courts of Cambodia only. Answer. Thank you, Mr. President. I gave uh, the statements 
three times at my own residence. J'ai été entendu à trois reprises à mon domicile. J'ai également été entendu à mon domicile. J'ai été entendu à mon domicile. J'ai également 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 été entendu à mon domicile. Statements that you said you gave three times at your home residence. Did that that you gave three times at your home residence. Did it take place on the same day or did it take place on different days? And when did it take place? Answer. Actually, you gave three times at your home residence. Did that that you gave three times at your home residence. Did that that you gave three times at your home residence. Did that that you gave three times at your home residence. Did that that you gave three times at your home residence. Did that that you gave three times Gave the statement, the three statement on different occasions. C'était à trois en trois occasions différentes. I did not recall those statements because I was not provided with the documents. Parce que l'on ne m'a pas donné de documents. President, the three interviews that took place at your residence. Ces trois entretiens ont eu lieu à votre résidence. Who were the interviewers? Par qui ont été? From which organization? Ont-ils été organisés Quelle était l'organisation Est-ce que vous vous souvenez du nom de ceux qui sont venus s'entretenir avec vous à votre résidence Answer. They were in investigators from the working group of Mr. Chang Juk. C'était des enquêteurs du groupe de travail de Mr. Chang Juk. C'était des enquêteurs du groupe de travail de Mr. Chang Juk. C'était des enquêteurs du groupe de travail de Mr. Chang Juk. C'était des enquêteurs du groupe de travail de Mr. Chang Juk. President. Le président. When you were interviewed at your home, were they all people working for Mr. Chang Yu? Entendu chez vous, est-ce que les personnes qui sont venues vous interroger travaillent pour Mr. Chang Yu? Answer: Yes, that is correct. Réponse: Oui, c'est exact. President, what about your statement at the homes? And this person's house, which village it is located in? Savez-vous dans quel village se trouve cette maison? Answer. Réponse. Who homes house is located in the same village, and it is not far from my house. President, for the interview. Two plus at who whom? Who was the interviewer? Lors de cet entretien à la maison de who whom, qui est venu vous interroger? Answer. Réponse. It was from the same documentation center. C'était le même centre de documentation. And there was another foreigner, a Korean or somebody, but I cannot recall it exactly, who also participated in the interview. Exactement. Donc cette personne avait participé. President, was there any Cambodian individual who interviewed you? Answer: Yes, there was, but I cannot recall the name. President, so there was a foreigner. And some Cambodians or some foreigners. Can you tell the chamber how many people exactly in that group participated in the interview at Holmes House? And there were two Cambodians, one of whom was a driver, and there is a foreigner. President, thank you. Can you recall when you were interviewed at that specific location? Please try to think hard. De la date à laquelle vous avez été interrogé à cet endroit. Réfléchissez bien. Because I did not take down the date, so I cannot recall it, Mr. President. At least give us a year if you can do that. And so I am also not sure on the year. Réponse, je ne suis plus sûr de l'année non plus. President, 
And you also stated that you first interviewed the ones at a, a commune office. Which commune office? Dans le bureau d'une commune. De quelle commune s'agissait-il? Answer. It was at the Tramcock commune office. Réponse. C'était dans le bureau de la commune de Tramcock. Question. And who actually interviewed you? Le président. Et qui vous a interrogé? Commune office. Dans le bureau de la commune de Trapcock. Mr. President, uh, Mr. Witness, uh, please uh, respond to uh, the question répondre, because plaît, probably you, on, you already uh, responded when the microphone was not vous avez activated. Alors que le micro n'était pas allumé, nous ne vous avons pas entendu. Answer. The interview took place at Tramcock Commune Office. Réponse. Cet entretien a eu lieu au bureau and de la commune de Tramcock. At that time, I was interviewed by people from the uh, Khmer Rouge Tribunal. Par des personnes du tribunal There des Khmer Rouge. There was one investigator. Il y avait un enquêteur. And one uh, foreigner. Un étranger. And a, an interpreter. Et un interprète. Question. And can you recall the date of that interview? Question. Et vous souvenez-vous de la date à laquelle a eu lieu cet entretien? Answer. In fact, I bring that document along, Réponse. but I cannot uh, recall the date. Apporté ce document, mais je ne me souviens pas de la date. Question. Question. Do you bring? The two uh, written records of interview. Vous avez apporté les deux procès verbaux de I bring Réponse. only uh, one. Je n'en ai apporté qu'un. President, when you were interviewed at Hohum's house, lorsque vous avez été interrogé and the, another occasion, that is when you were interviewed at the Tramcock commune office, de la commune de Tramcock, that there was a time that you uh, were interviewed by the investigator from the ECCC. Can you tell the court how long was it before the interview conducted by the ECCC investigator compared to the last time Combien that you was interviewed at Hohom's house? Des et Answer, que vous avez à I think it was uh, four years after. Réponse, je crois que l'entretien avec les enquêteurs des CETC a eu lieu trois ans ou quatre ans après. Court officer, can you take the documents that the witness has with him uh, so that I can uh, check it? M'apporter les documents que le témoin a apporté avec lui aujourd'hui pour que je puisse les vérifier.
Ini Menteri Bapak Laka, itu Presiden. yang kita... Tidak satu ke Korpisa. Korpisa, you can have the document back and please uh, keep it for the witness. Visi d'audience, vous pouvez re... And Council Coupe, are you clear now on the numbers of the interviews? Or do you have any other matters of concern to raise? Uh, well, I would be really interested in having uh, the DC CAM statements. Uh, uh, we tried uh, to see if we can get access to uh, the DC CAM um, database, but nothing shows up. Uh, I don't know, I'm looking at the prosecution whether they have access to DC CAM statements or whether they know anything about other statements. Um, I know I'm sure investigators or uh, legal officers from the case 3 and 4 um, investigations are following the proceedings. Maybe they have an answer. We can start with this uh, witness 20 minutes and maybe we can find out what's, what the situation is during the lunch break. Yes, the international uh, deputy co-prosecutor, you have the floor. Merci, bonjour, Monsieur le Président, euh, Thank you, Madame et Messieurs les Juges. Mr. President, nous en sommes au, dans la même situation que la Défense. Nous avons deux procès-verbaux d'audition des juges d'instruction et nous ne savions pas qu'il avait donné des interviews à DCCAM. Nous n'avons jamais vu de compte-rendu d'interview de DCCAM. Donc, euh, nous pouvons évidemment aussi rechercher pendant la pause. Ceci dit, je pense que toutes les parties étant sur le même plan, sur le même pied d'égalité, je ne pense pas que cela devrait nous empêcher d'avancer et de poser des questions aux témoins. Yes, and the uh, co-prosecutors, uh, you had the floor now to start with your questioning of this witness. National Deputy Co-Prosecutor. Good morning, Mr. President, Merci, Your Honours, and everyone Madame in and around the courtroom. And good morning, Mr. Bonjour, witness. Madame My name is Sri Rotanak. I am a and a National Deputy Co-Prosecutor, and I have uh, some questions uh, to put to you. And after uh, my conclusion, my international colleague Lorsque will uh, terminé, have the floor to put some questions uh, to you. Et qui vous posera des questions. Through your interviews with the investigators of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges, that is document A3551. Uh, the question number one, you stated that before 1970, you was a farmer at Angroni village, Tramco uh, commune, a Tramco district. Also, in the question answer four, you stated that after the Khmer Rouge entry and control in 1970, you were appointed by the Khmer Rouge as a group leader. And can you tell the court in which village or commune you, you were appointed as a group leader? Excusez-moi, pourriez-vous nous dire dans quel village ou commune Answer. vous avez été nommé chef? It was at Angroni village, Tramco uh, commune, Tramco district. Angroni, dans le district de Trancoc, commune de Trancoc. Question. How long did you live in that Question. area? Et combien de temps avez-vous vécu là-bas? Answer. I was there from 1970 through 1973. In question, in the same Question. document that is your Dans interview document, with the OCIG investigator, that is document A3-55-1, question answer 5, 
You stated Question that 5. from 1970 to 1973, people were made to work in the rice 70, fields in a mutual uh, exchange. And this mutual assistant team was a production group that works in the rice field, and people were put into different groups according to their strength, that is uh, type 1, type 2, and type 3. And can you tell the chamber what was the difference between these mutual assistant teams? and a cooperative la différence entre ces groupes d'entraide et les coopératives answer Réponse. the difference between mutual assistant team and cooperative was that in the cooperative we ate communally but in the mutual assistant teams we ate privately ne le faisait pas in the same document, in question answer 20, you stated that in 1974, you joined the army and later on you were you contracted malaria and abscess and then you went to work at the Nyanyan commune office. Can you tell the court when did that happen and until when did you finish working there? Answer. I worked at the Nyanyang commune office until 1977. Question. What were your functions? Answer. I worked in the office. Réponse. Je travaillais dans le bureau. Question, I mean, your daily duties at uh, that Nyanyo commune office, what were your routine works? Que faisiez-vous au quotidien? Quelles étaient vos tâches quotidiennes? Answer, my uh, daily routine at the Nyanyo commune office was to uh, request and arrange for the full supply to be sent to the front the battlefield. The food supply included uh, vegetable, for instance. Question. In 1975, were you aware of the evacuation of the people? Answer. Thank you for that question. In 1975, uh, initially I did not know about the people evacuation, and later on when I saw uh, the large crowd of people coming in, then I knew that uh, people had been evacuated from Phnom Penh. Question, and what happens to those uh, evacuees uh, in your village or commune? Answer. It seems that there was nothing that happened to them. Question. Uh, what do you mean by that? That is that nothing happened to them? Answer. Those people who were came in. Réponse. The commune uh, make uh, arrangement for them to live in various villages. That's why I said that nothing happened to them. Voilà pourquoi je dis qu'il ne leur est rien arrivé. Question: In your commune. Did you know uh, how many families of the 17 April people were allowed to stay there or were sent there? Answer, no, I did not know. Question, can you make your best guess, for example, for 70, 60 or in the hundreds, in the thousands? 50, 70, centaines, des milliers de familles sont allées dans votre commune. It was in thousands for Réponse. the villages and their commune, and I refer to the thousands of individuals, not the thousands of families. Dans les villages, les communes, pas des milliers de familles, des milliers de personnes. 
initially uh, was there a plan for these uh, new people to fill in their biography? Est-ce que il avait été prévu initialement de demander à ces personnes de présenter leur biographie? Answer. At the beginning, Réponse. they were not allowed, to, uh, they were not required to fill Au in départ, their biography. We lived to mingle biographie. together, had our meals ensemble, together. Nous en commun. Question. How could they distinguish who Question. the 17 April people were or who the best people were? Et, man, et comment pouvait-on faire la différence entre les personnes du 17 avril et les personnes appartenant au peuple de base? Answer. In fact, Réponse. they had a list of the uh, newcomers and the Une list of the uh, best people. Et il y avait également une liste pour les personnes appartenant au peuple de base. Question. Among the new people, Question. did they know their backgrounds? I mean, whether they were former loner soldiers or former civil servants. Est-ce que l'on savait par exemple d'anciens fonctionnaires ou d'anciens militaires de l'ONLAN? Answer. No, they could not Réponse. make that the distinction. Non, non, on ne pouvait pas le savoir, on ne pouvait pas faire cette différence là. Question in the question. same document that is it reads as 5551. Question answer 30. Réponse 30. You were asked uh, it, the following question, and oui, I quote, in your village, were people told that village, if anyone used to be a soldier or teacher or a government officer, they would be made to go to work in the same place? Answer 30, yes, they were. But those people were not called to go to anywhere. But if someone disagreed or opposed, they were called to study, and those people were never seen coming back. End of a quote. What do you mean when you uh, made that statement that I just read out to you? Qu'avez-vous voulu dire par là? Answer. Réponse. It means that people were told or there was a propaganda voulu dire that the former uh, people could go, could go back uh, to their former position or job. But if they oppose the democratic Kampuchi, then si they were arrested and never returned. And later on, when, uh, if people ask about them, we were told that they were sent for re-education. And question, you said that if they question. oppose the democratic Cambodia regime, le régime du what do you mean by that? Can you elaborate it a bit further? It means those people oppose the propaganda or they oppose the policies de, de of the democratic Cambodia. Answer, they oppose the general principles Ils étaient opposés aux principes généraux. Question. Did you Question. witness by yourself? Uh, Avez-vous vu de vos yeux? For instance, uh, people oppose these uh, general principles. Can you give us an example or two? Généraux. Pourriez-vous nous donner un exemple? Answer. In fact, I did not uh, encounter it, Réponse. but I heard other people talking about yeux, it, as I mainly stayed in the office. Car uh, moi je restais dans le bureau la plupart du temps. Question. Question. In the same document, that is E3 slash 5521, question answer 39, 
question you were asked about the number of uh, cooperatives in the Nyanyon commune, and you answered that they first organized them through villages, and then they organized them into uh, units. Can you tell the court when they started organizing cooperatives at the village level? I want you to recall the dates. Answer. Réponse. They organize uh, units in 1977. I think it was in late 1977 or early 1978. Question. What about the Question. mutual assistance teams, Et as you stated earlier? When did the mutual assistance Quand teams transform into cooperatives? Ont -ils été transformés en coopératives? Answer. The mutual assistance teams Réponse. were changed into cooperatives at the time of the liberation in 1975, and that when people started to eat communally. That is based on my personal recollection. Question. Can you provide a little bit of clear explanation? Or oh, maybe I am confused. You seem to give two different answers. So my first question that uh, when they organized cooperatives into the villages, and you said that it was in late 77, early 78. But when I asked about the mutual system teams, which were transformed into the cooperatives, and you said that it was in 1975. So can you tell the court what happened between 1975 and 1977, early 78? Were there other forms of organization? And please, if you don't understand my question, tell me so, so I can refresh it. Answer. Uh, please uh, refresh your question. Réponse. Pourriez-vous reformuler, s'il vous plaît? Question. Question. I uh, asked you uh, uh, a, a few minutes back that when cooperatives were divided uh, into villages or, or at the village level, avaient été mises en place au niveau des villages. And your response was uh, consistent with the response you provided uh, with the OCIJ investigator. And that is, the cooperatives were organized in, at the village level at, in late 77 or early 78. And later on, in response to my question as to when the mutual system teams uh, were transformed into the cooperatives, and you replied that it happened in 1975. So my question to you is the period between 75 to 77 or early 78 were Entre cooperatives exist, fin 1977, ou début 1978, and if so, were they organized uh, in the villages? Si oui, de or what façon, other forms of cooperatives that existed uh, during this period of time? And uh, I think I uh, am confused. Réponse. In Je crois fact, que un peu perdu. in 1975, when uh, city dwellers uh, arrived, they uh, organized the mutual assistance teams and then they organized the cooperatives. Et ensuite, on a mis en place des coopératives. Question. And when was Question. the private ownership abolished in Et your commune? At what moment did you abolish the private ownership in your commune? And so I cannot recall the date. Réponse. It's been a long time. Je ne me pas de la date. Beaucoup de temps s'est écoulé depuis. Question. Question. And 
when you yourself were instructed to work uh, communally or to eat uh, communally quand avez-vous reçu l'ordre de travailler dans les coopératives ou de prendre vos repas en commun and so uh, communal eating and working applied to everyone et les repas en commun concernant tout le monde et cela a commencé en 1976 question if i am not uh, mistaken and based on your response si je m'abuse et au vu the de difference réponses, between the mutual assistance team and the cooperative team was that uh, the former means you ate uh, individually, but for the cooperative you ate uh, communally. And you said that you started eating uh, com uh, communally in 1976. So can we say that the cooperatives were established in 1976? Answer. I think I am not really Réponse. certain, so I cannot uh, tell you for sure. Je n'en suis pas certain. Question. Question. In the same document, in uh, question answer 40, question, 40, you also uh, state that the uh, cooperatives were established at the villages, and then uh, the units were established, and then people were categorized into uh, different uh, groups, for instance, uh, full rights, uh, deposits, etc. De plein droit, pardon, and les can you explain to the court etc. when did that happen? Pourriez-vous nous dire à quel moment ces catégories ont été établies? And so, indeed, that uh, what happened, there were different groups, Réponse. the uh, full rise people, the candidate people, and droit, the depositors. The full rise people refers to the, the faithful or loyal people to Ankar. And the candidate people refer uh, to those Quant aux candidats, who had their children study or had their children uh, living in the enemy uh, zone. As for the deposits, uh, they refer to all city enfin, dwellers who had been uh, uh, evacuated. Qui avaient été évacués. Question. Can you uh, tell the court Question. when these categorizations uh, happened? Question. Can you tell the court when these categorizations happened? Question. Can you I apologize, uh, I cannot really recall uh, when it happened. Je ne me souviens pas exactement de quand cela a eu lieu. Questioned. Question. As you have just uh, stated, and it is uh, consistent with your uh, response Comme in uh, document E3 slash 5521, that is at Question answer 45. You stated that in Nyanyong commune, you were in charge of receiving and distributing food supply from the district to the cooperatives. Can you uh, elaborate further for the court how did you make the arrangement for food distribution to the cooperatives? Answer. The food distribution was merely based on the uh, set ratio determined by the uh, commune chief. Ça faisait essentiellement en fonction d'un ratio déterminé par le chef de la commune. Question. Was the decision on food distribution Question. made at the la commune level or at another level? Au niveau de la commune ou à un autre niveau pour la distribution de la nourriture? Answer. In Réponse. fact, 
The district gave us an overall package, but the commune will distribute it uh, based on the number of people in the unit. Question. So, from your experience, was food distribution sufficient at that time? Answer. No, uh, food uh, was not sufficient at that time. There was uh, a food shortage. Question. You said there was a food shortage. Can you elaborate a bit further? Answer. Sometimes we had to eat a gruel, sometimes uh, cook rice. De la soupe. Question, uh, what do you mean by that? Question, et que voulez-vous dire par là? Answer. We uh, had gruel and sometimes we could cook the uh, cook rice. On avait, on mangeait de Question. la bouillie et parfois on pouvait cuire du riz. I asked you about a food shortage. What do you mean by that? You meant that people could not eat to their own fill. And we want you to uh, elaborate on this point from uh, your experience. Answer. People could not uh, eat to their fill. That's what I meant by food shortage. Question, while you were in uh, Nyanyong commune, did uh, people get sick? Answer, yes, uh, people got sick. And mainly uh, those new people who did not uh, used to engage in uh, labor in the rice fields, and then they fell ill. President, thank you. And it is now convenient for us to have a lunch break. We will take a break now and resume at 1.30 this afternoon. And court officer, please uh, make an arrangement for the witness during the lunch break and invite him back into the courtroom with his uh, duty counsel. And that. Uh, is at 1.30, and security personnel just started to take you some point back into the uh, waiting room downstairs and invite him back into the uh, courtroom this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess.